ver, a ver, a ver. Bla, bla. Vale. A ver, a ver, a ver. Bla, bla. Vale, esto.
What's up guys? How we all doing today? Welcome to the stream. Nice. Alright, we have achieved 2,000 gold. It means we get a spicy start here. As we get to finally buy the mini set. We get to finally buy the mini set with my cash. Uh, um, latest expansion. No, that's packs, right? Repurchase. No shot they took away the uh, adventure already, did they? Not the adventure, the mini set. Mini set. Boy, the shop is so hard to navigate. Considering they're trying to sell you stuff, they make it really hard to navigate. This <laughs> golden one up front, yeah, thanks. Like, if you were a casual player, you might not even realize you could buy that. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I need to buy the golden one? Better get the credit card. $87, by the way. It's disgusting they put that up front. <laughs> so hard to get through the shop. Alright, uh, does this just automatically give me my achievements? I have some more. The neutral. I feel like I should have glass cards, too. I got a lot of new class cards. Why didn't I get achievements for those? I guess, uh, I guess I'm close to getting them, but I'm not quite done on the normal cards of the set. Which is why. Like, I probably need one more original mage card, right? For the final achievement. This one... Not even close on the legendaries. I have half the legendaries. Yep. Uh, I just need to collect more, I suppose. If Altrag Valley got done. One of my only ones that's actually finished. Galakron's Awakening. Probably just buy it. Adventure. I have any sets done that are not in it. And classic is close. Missing two cards. So, or, well, the other ones are very close, all of them, but not quite. I want to get a couple packs. I really need to do some more arena, use up my uh, tavern tickets, but I feel like arena is just not good right now, so it's not very motivating. Or I've really been enjoying the battlegrounds. Oh, do we need an update for the deck tracker? It was uh, not working well with the patch. Seems like I have the up to date version.
fresh opponents. Are you ready? Did you guys know that uh, over Niagara Falls, that only 17 are known to have survived? That's pretty low survival rate. Five thousand people. Must have been some like big ship that accounts for most of that. That was not the right. There's no way that we're all individual people accounting five thousand tries. Plus, what do they even get from going down it, right? It's just a stunt. It's not like it's not like there's gold at the bottom. You can get down it by going around the long way. Wonder what I'll look up at the biggest. What, what do you think the biggest loss of life was in a single Niagara Falls death? Biggest loss of life. Ni it's the people who have gone over. I mean, there's a Wikipedia article. More than 5,000 people have gone over. First recorded person to survive was a school teacher who completed a stunt inside of Oak Barrel. There you go. The first, the first person who survived did it inside a barrel. Probably where all the cartoons got it from. The battle is really raging out there. Uh, an estimated 5,000 bodies were found at the foot of the falls. Wow, that's a more gruesome way. Jesus. That's a more gruesome count than I expected. I thought it was like an estimation, but they're actually going about how many bodies they found at the bottom. Which is... Pretty disgusting. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, somebody had to clean that up, I guess, right? Uh, probably, it seems a lot of them were, were suicides by the article. I'll read a little more. Mm, okay, let's get these full bore for now. Let's see. Not really great about synergy, but I'm gonna buff the profit because he's pretty good. Uh. So there were some daredevils, but obviously that's not the majority of people. 20 and 30 people die going each year. The majority are suicides. Mortality rate for daredevil attempts is only 25%. So... There you go. Yeah, most of it's uh, suicide, actually. I don't know if that really counts. I, mean, I guess they chose that way out, but... Surely they would have just done something else. It's hard to attribute those deaths to the, the Niagara Falls, right? Because they could just commit suicide some other way. Obviously, if they're nearby and they're feeling suicidal, I guess it's a dramatic way to take the plunge, but probably not like the Niagara Falls is actually encouraging that, right? Uh... Do play quill boars? I'm kind of thinking that, but that's just a job. Battle cry for cookbooks, not bad. It's a stat game, so I don't think we do victim specter. It's between hammer and cookbook. I'm gonna go hammer. Let's go hammer. So obviously I'll grab the mech with the hammer. Pretty steep requirement though, huh? I play a lot of stuff. I do really want to play a quill board this turn. Just gonna roll. We got scammed. No quill board. This guy has a token for Grey Bow at least. Yeah, apparently if you're a daredevil trying to go over Niagara Falls, you're actually only 25% chance to die, which is pretty high survival rate, honestly. There just haven't been that many daredevils. So, it would almost be interesting to see which daredevil screwed it up, right? If 75% of them survive and 25% died, you gotta think those 25% that died were probably the shitty ones. You know? 
They just they didn't put in the work. The other guys did the research and like had proper planning. 25% of them just YOLO'd it and didn't make it. the quest. I don't know. Man. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll here. Gotta rush the quest a little bit. There's still no Quillbor! <laughs> oh, I'm throwing this game now. I'm rolling again. Can't stop me. Okay, there's no Quillbor. There's actually just zero Quillbor. I mean, I like buff this profit and I have the quest for Quillbor and there's just zero Quillbor. These guys are good with the Grey Bass stuff at least. Grey Bass putting in some early tempo for us. I'm just trying to rush out the quest right now and then see where we go from there. Yeah, I'm winning off the Great Battle stuff, which is cool, I guess. Just nothing good. An evolve, but I only have trash mini. Well, again. Oh, it's in there. Just been getting only mechs for our quest progress. Hopefully, I can complete this next turn. I need to buy three mechs or quill bores. I'd be a little flexible for that. And then I have to find something that I actually want to spellcraft, but the uh, Iron Sensei is okay for filler, I guess. Does a bit of scaling. Soul Juggler into a big uh, bruiser there. Yeah, that's definitely a nice power spike for his treasure. Meet them on the other side of that. Actually want this? I might just sell this guy. I don't think I want this. Care about him? At least he's useful. You guys all have it, obviously, with the on stuff because I'm great bow. What am I investing in though? I don't know. Uh, who's the investment uh, here? Like this guy, I guess. This guy's gonna get us maximum hand of blood gems next turn. It'd be nice to have something to put the blood gems on that's like actually good. Maybe a deflecto. 
you know, deflecto work nice with this kind of mech token line we got going here. So we stayed low tier, a little extra to make it happen, but I think this is a pretty good setup for now. because the harvest golem didn't die, but you know, pretty good, pretty good. But I need something to put them on that's actually worthwhile. I don't want to just put them on this garbage stuff. Harvest golem is probably the best investment. Yeah, we definitely like replicating that. Let's ditch micro. Hmm. Ditch kaboomba. I'll put replicating on the Iron Sensei, I think. Iron Sensei is a pretty good one to run with, just as a general mech, because I'm playing other mech. Oh, I could've got the Blood Gem. Shoot. Could've got this guy and got a Blood Gem this turn. Roll instead. Uh, yep, definitely want that. Okay, I'm investing in Iron Sensei, I think, because I'm going to give Iron Sensei a annoying module here. Mm, do we want to give him a couple more? I mean, this guy might not die this turn, it's the only downside, but... Once I give him taunt, it's fine. Interesting build we got here. Max blood gems. What's up, Pop? Yeah, our quest reward is uh, make a friendly minion golden until next turn. Is thing? Sure. Like, pretty good numbers for us. But... It dies and it. Well, I'm getting lots of uh, blood gems. I wish you could get more blood gems than hand size, right? I am already max blood gems here, so. I could get four more, or five. I could get six more blood gems if I was able to get a bigger hand. I do lose this. Wow, that's a painful loss. All these things live with just a tiny bit of health. Build nothing. Ooh. <sighs> I was pumped. It's kind of nice, just as a uh, thing that's getting a lot of synergy from the gems. Let's try to pick it up. Yeah, let's get this guy. I sell these. I'm gonna be short of minion. I guess it's fine. I mean, like I have a lot of tokens, right? And this buff goes out to good stuff. keep stacking this now. These other guys don't have taunt yet. Eventually they'll get taunt, but... Stacking this. Okay. Damn. 
losing. 25 to die. I feel like I've been printing a lot, but... He's betting for his life too, I guess. He's at 7 health here. Terrible hits. That was a first hit. No. <laughs> That's terrible hits. My dad. Ooh, we're still alive, still alive. Guess it could have been worse somehow. Didn't look like it, but. Okay. This guy. Another Iron Sensei. I'm gonna try to get for the golden. Bob believes. Nope. Blood gem yoinkage. Not particularly helpful. Be against here. Real war. I gotta just keep stacking the Divine Shield guy, really. Not a lot of incentive to stack the other guys right now. Maybe I'll throw, uh... I'll throw a few on this guy this turn. Just don't want to be so hard invested in that one guy, but... Best one. definitely a good combo with this kind of blood gem stuff we're doing it doubles the effectiveness of the blood gems basically is it enough though it's funny to think we've been getting 10 blood gems a turn and are still just on the ropes here printing so hard it was really good gray bass energy too with the way it worked nice let's go freaking finally with four health left we get a win I wish I had a Deflecto. Got like so many resets for Deflecto. The money is mine! <laughs> I'm rich! Not really, uh. It's not really cash rich though. This is like stocks. I have, I have stocks right now. I have investments. I'm not actually cash rich. Alright, what are we doing? Iron Sensei at least is pumping these other stuff a little bit. Pretty risky a tavern though. I'm just gonna try to finish some more stuff this turn or get some more buffs. Okay, like where are we getting Deflecto? That seems pretty good. I guess I want this taunt too. Alright, that's Iron Sensei dead. Hmm, really this guy's out too. Am I taunting the Deflecto? I could. The resets don't have taunt right now. I think it's fine. Let's put the resets after Deflecto. Alright, I'm going with the taunted Deflecto strat. Otherwise, there's no reason it even gets multiple resets, so... Mm, plus 5-5. Five, five. Anything else? No, I'll just do this, actually. This is... Okay. Well, we juiced up on a better minion there. Not enough. I mean, that wasn't really crazy strong, right? I had good synergy, honestly. I had good synergy with the quest and my hero power. But it just wasn't, like, mega strong. I 
Gosh, this is a close. Battlemaster killed me there, I guess. Oh. Can't quite take down the Battlemaster. If I was allowed to fit all the gems in my hand, I feel like we win that, right? We, we just get scammed because I can't even fit more than 10 gems. My build was ultimately really synergistic, but we were capped. And it's one of the only builds that does that, when you think about it. Like, adding gems to your hand is one of the only things that happens during combat you can get capped out on. They need, to, they need to fix that. I think there should be... Gems should just stack the same way. Like, spellcraft cards stack. So when or we had a spellcraft card there, for example, right? It wouldn't go into my hand until it had space. Gems should do the same thing. Has missed out on so much uh, scaling that would have changed the game. There's probably about six gems per turn that we could have got extra, right? So after that many turns, like 24 extra gems, something. Only comes down to a battle mass with a little bit of health. It's another stack game. I wasn't a big fan of Kelpaz last time. If Shutterwalk can do some nice work for us. right now go with the elemental start like tier two don't tell the others the battle is really raging out there Some, there's some shit right here, Chad. This is this is why you don't get married, all right? This guy in, is in Japan. Pushed his wife into the sea, and I was like, oh, you know, they're probably some young stuff, and they had trouble. Not nah, 81 year old man pushed his wife of 40 years into the ocean. He confessed to it. Like <laughs> what is? 40 years they've been married. He just throws it in the towel. Freaking savage, dude. What an absolute savage. 39 years? No, we made it to 40. We celebrated the anniversary, and let me tell you, on our 40th anniversary, she told me that the soup I made was cold. I had enough. That was it. I just done <laughs> pushed her into the ocean. Forty years they were married. Forty years. You can win this thing. 
But there's so much more to know. Uh, well, obviously, but we were more married for 40 years, and he said he was tired and had enough. That's what we get from the article. You can speculate a little bit. Rendell with end of turn, summon 16 things. I do have a death rack. I could easily pick up another summon here. Add 10 cards. Boy, blood gems with add 10 cards pretty fast. Play 5 Quillbore or Mech. I'm already planning to play both the Mech and the Quillbore. That's kind of where I was going. Um, So they're good for all of them, basically. Do we want end of turn effects triggered twice? Something tells me that's going to be the strongest one. Although the Rendell it gives me is very not strong, right? But maybe end of turn will just be great this game because there's demons, quill bores for end of turn stuff. Red hands, 10 cards. I mean, it probably takes just as long as the other one and it doesn't seem good. Victim Spectre we could do really fast. Alright, I'm going for the end of turn one. I'm going for the big guns here. I'm going for the big guns. I kind of like the demon over the quill bore since I'm doing summons. It'll, it'll line into more summons, I think. It's gonna be a complicated game. It's gonna be a complicated game. It's not an easy one we picked here with Shutterwalk. Up, Kwong. still on tier one on. Huh? Oh, waved. 10%, nice. I already quarter done our quest. But I do definitely want summon. This is also kind of a summon. Either way, I'm taking the tier one guy, I guess. This gets a bonus with Selemental. Pretty small difference, though. I just roll. Let's use the free roll here. We got something good. We're tier 3 now. Oh, Cadgar. That's spicy. Alright, alright. That's pretty spicy. Let's see. Uh, that can summon a whole bunch of stuff here if we set it up right. those rare times I actually feel like I can use Cadgar because I don't have a full board yet and I'm trying to get summons. I'm always hyped for the Cadgar but it's so hard to make him work. Hopefully he'll do a good job here. Don't just get sniped right away Cadgar. You need to live so I can at least get some summons off of you, alright bro? Don't get sniped on the first hit. Otherwise I should have just bought the Menagerie Jug. Menagerie Jug was honestly not bad. Of three things. Okay, I went first. Nice. He got sniped on the second hit still. <laughs> At least I went first there. Got one extra summon. Wow, he got the tie. I'm so lucky for him. What are we doing? We're half done. Another harvest golem for now. Um good jug in the smogger here. Nice general battle cries for later with our Shutterwalk stuff and with good efficiency. Ah, oh, now I don't have space for the uh, guy to guard really pop off, huh? Send this guy first, I suppose. Dude, if we had some insane combo luck here, we could get uh, the whole thing done. That would be pretty huge. We should actually get it done either way next turn, so I guess that's not a big difference, right? We should just guarantee get this done and by buying stuff and then we'll uh we'll get the end of turn thing already, so. Definitely try to set that up. It might mean I don't level, we'll see how much our summons go off here. Forty years he spent taking care of her after becoming disabled. Uh oh. 
Honestly, I think that's even worse. So they were married longer than 40 years, but she'd been disabled for 40 years. And then he just gave up. Like, if she was, if they were married, I thought it was, they were married 40 years, then she was, like, disabled recently, right? That's even worse. They were married longer, and he'd already been taking care of her while she's disabled for 40 years. They'd probably been getting, like, you know, disability benefits and whatnot the whole time. I'm sure Japan has pretty good stuff for that. They take care of their citizens well. No, oh, the Cadgar. How much should I get? Uh, as long as this dies, then we're just one minion, so I can still tower now. Good, good. Can we get the win? Nice. You have to Sinstone for 20. Okay. We get Rendell this turn. Kinda huge. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, Well, I just take the five, I'm pretty sure. Best time. Nomi, little rag. And for Nomi, it's turn seven, it's pretty early. I think Elemental is a good tribe for us to shutter walk, so. And uh, we can get end of turn effect with Major Domo on tier four, which would be doubled. Very nice. Probably not the best of the end of turn in this lobby, but Domo is a good end of turn effect. Okay, I don't need Cadgar anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna roll to try to get better Rendell picks here. Nothing special, really. Okay, so we're gonna lean into the Elementals plan team. And yeah, we like Major Domo a lot, because he's going to be twice as effective. This is about one turn slower than the optimal Nomi, right? If you really rush and you hit a 5 early, like we just kind of laid into this with a decent curve. If you really rush and you hit it early, you have Nomi on 6 and you're starting building already. We're a little delayed. But we have nice tempo where I've got my health up. Round actually. Soul juggler. Uh anybody wanna snipe the soul juggler? Kill it though. <laughs> I sniped it, but it didn't kill it. And two health left. Definitely buy these. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Alright, I'm buffing Nomi for now. We're stacking up, we're stacking up. We don't really have a good minion to invest in yet, unfortunately, but... 
Uh, Nomi stacking up. We got a Domo double end of turn. We're printing some money. It's not bad. Yeah, that Domo goes big. Well, not enough. Uh, 20 stats on this Nomi, but. Got a good setup. Dread Admiral. Gonna make it golden. A lot of tempo. Oof. One health with a shield. Didn't really kill enough stuff there. This ain't doing too much right now. It's got a smogger buff and like re-roll. We really want to get more stuff in it. I'm not going menagerie though. We're just going full elemental domo again. Need more elementals, Bob. Those are good. They're out. Haunting them, you sure? Try to sell this guy. That's going to somebody else. Eh, not the one I wanted it on. Eh, unfortunate. Put on the Rendell. What is this gonna buff? Working on Golden Ring Matron apparently thanks to the Rendell. Ah, it's such a waste that we put 20 stats on the Rendell over any of the other ones. Hopefully we win this round, but I'm not confident. If we lose this round, then I'm gonna be sad because I don't have time to like build up to my shutterlings. Let's win this round, come on, come on. Major Domo doubling up, we're getting big value. Ooh, I got the party for free. Like that's a lot of stats. Tell me we win this round, come on. We got sheets. Oh man, it's close, it's close. Come on team, come on, put your back into it. You fool. Oh, it takes so much damage, too. That was a really close round. Yikes. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm against first place here, too. We just killed somebody. Great. And that's totally useless. All right. Cool story, bro. I think I gotta do my Shutterlings this turn or I'm gonna die. I don't have anything good in them now. Hmm. Still nothing great. Light Fang for a small buff. Should I play the men? I'm just slamming these for what they're worth. Otherwise, I feel like I'm gonna die. Give it everything I got here. That's a pretty big board though, right? I mean, like, come on. Honestly, he should have buffed himself. That's a pretty big board though, right? I slammed. Yeah, nice, okay. I had to use those way earlier than I really wanted to with this, but we're just down in three HP here.
We're still elementals. We're still Nomi Major Domo elementals for sure. The other stuff's just filling in. Another Major Domo. I mean, they're insane if I have elementals. Why is I'm not sure? Got any elementals? Okay. I don't really want this guy, for example. I don't really want the Rendell either, but he just keeps stealing the buffs, so now he's he's too big to get rid of. This freaking Rendell just steals all the buffs. As I said it, he steals another gigantic buff. Oh, I want that Crackling Cyclone. Just sell this Molten Rock and get the Crackling Cyclone. Yeah, that's a really good one to buff. against Max. First does. Domos are pumping. I got a lot of stats. What are we doing? He's got a lot of stats, but mine are bigger. Wish I just had more elementals to play. I'm only playing a few elementals each turn. We're getting so much scaling out of the few that we do play. Okay, we're up to top five. Fighting Wilbur, he had shields. We see an anti-shield, maybe take that. Oh, I have a shield too, I guess. Right, Bob believes in the uh, dazzling light spawn golden. Be pretty cool. Uh, it's really hard to play stuff. I guess I get rid of this guy. Shop, that's for sure. Who's yoinking them all? I'm the only person even going elementals. Where are they at? I didn't get recycling. I didn't get nothing good. I didn't get nothing good, Bob. <sighs> Been working hard with just a little bit of stuff here. We did get the major demo. That was nice, but it's a fight to the death. Steffi. But he definitely had shield on his thing. And he's playing double. Bully Mackerel. Be nice to bump with something else, but then I waste the Domo buff, so I don't think it's worth it. I just let this kill a taunt. shields. I got the numbers, though. Yeah, the numbers, 20-20, no thanks. I got an 82-95, bub. 82-95? Sounds like the price they'd charge you for, uh... What costs 82-95, chat? Kind of expensive. Sounds like the price they'd charge you for a uh, blowjob down the street. It's under a hundred dollars, but probably a good price. Okay, top three. Our scrappy build here. We got the dead guy. Nice. That's big. So we're up against Max with shields and billboards with big stats. I'm gonna pass on this. I'm just gonna go big stats. I'm gonna tyrant up, I guess. Big stats. Let's go. I need numbers, boy. The numbers. Right. 
must grow and become valleys! Freeze this guy. It's pretty good. Well, looks like this guy is unbeatable by everybody. Got end of turn effect double menagerie will bore. Can we be the one? Very strong comp. But it looks like I got some big numbers here, but nothing really sticks out as the winning condition, you know. Still need a lot of things to make our build finalized if we were going the distance. But uh, maybe we just cheated enough stats with Stoma over time. We definitely got a lot of stats from him. Honestly, it looks pretty close. I mean, I have hundreds, and he has no hundreds. He has some 90s. That thing lived with 7 health, are you kidding? And the deflector lived, yeah. A few of those trades were off there. To <laughs> the 7 health. Damn. Nice try. Good game, though. Take that, take that. And it was pretty hard to finish our build. We, we still had Rendell on the board with like 50 stats. I think that was good. It would have been really nice to have Gold and Rendell. I think that we might have been able to make Gold and Rendell if I had tried harder for him, because I saw him a couple times. Oh.
too spicy. I guess there's a good amount of tokens this game with beats and max. Last time I played this hero I didn't end up going max at all though. Did well and just didn't go max. tier 1 opener here. I mean, this is a very good tier 1 opener. We get the micro, which helps with our thing. We got pup. We got a coin for the turn after. Be good to me. I think I'd rather have more stuff die here. Might be worth the freeze this for the pair. Get that for the pair. I think the Dozy Whelp's a pretty good minion. Maybe it'll just hand me another dozy whelp and set up a golden. for attack 18 times. Uh, mirror shield. It's unfortunate. I guess I'm going max. Pretty all shields in this game. Menagerie. I'm gonna go Menagerie Mayhem here, I think. See it panning out with some extra buffs. The max often need damage, too, so the quest reward will just flat damage to the board.
And there it is, the triple dozy whelp. Uh, I got a lot of pairs right now. So, am I going to print another thing next turn? That's a big deal. But right now, let's say I sell this, then I have six, seven, eight. But everything dies, and I probably will lose. Uh, I would get a minion turn, right? Yeah, sell this guy. Then it's eight, yeah. Boom. Let's hold that. We're gonna try to carry that all the way, I think. I'm gonna try to carry that as far as I can. I prefer to get a six out of this setup that we're doing here. Quest is just spend gold, so tavern early is fine, and uh, have a couple other pairs that. Oh, actually, this is this could end up completing the pairs from my hero power. That would be a bad thing if that happened. I want just any other mech, preferably, to fill up the board. And I definitely think I'll lose that, so everything. If I win, then I don't get a minion, which would be kind of unfortunate. Okay, perfect. By a little bit, we get a Kaboom bot, nice. I have those other two pairs that I can easily finish later, too. I'm gonna be a little weak, but I think it's fine. So, next turn I'm going to have to sell two things, huh? Probably ditch the Micro Mummy at that point. I'm not getting a guy here. It's unfortunate I have to sell stuff next turn, huh? Maybe I'll wait to avoid that, though. Only way to avoid that is not go for the six. I go for a five, but it's gotta be sixes. I mean, we're the mech hero, and mech sixes are just the best. Mech fives are terrible. A Faux Reaper is not that great, I'm gonna be honest, but both Greasebot and a Mega Buster are. Actually, as we saw the other day, Greasebot didn't really perform as well as I had hoped. Like, it, it's still not enough on its own, but it's a great start. I don't know, now I'm talking myself out of it. Are those sixes really that good? Especially because I have to sell stuff to Tavern Up, I'm gonna here. I'm losing this round, too, unless something weird happens against Millhouse here. It's close, actually. It's doable. I was lucky. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Down to the wire. The tie, alright. Uh, we go for the six, we go for the six. Six me. We get this next turn no matter what. Walking for it here, for sure. Big scaling, just get taunts. Have one good taunt already. And this guy's a keeper, right? We do some menagerie taunt build. Nice. Definitely taunt the fort himself, right? I think the first thing we taunt is the fort himself. Uh, unless I get like a tribe specific one. It's also very easy to taunt beasts. What beast would I want to taunt for menagerie though? Just to rat pack or sewer rat, right? They don't really do anything special. Yeah, we'll probably end up getting a Tom Beast of some kind, but they're all rather generic. Because most of the good beasts don't want to have taunt. Doing. 
in a similar position to me. I need three things to die to get a free minion, but that seems very likely. I doubt he'd be weaker than that. Yeah, it's, it's only going to be four things taunted with the fort, ideally. Maybe five, just for extra synergy, but you don't quite want the whole board taunted, so... Hey, he got us walking for it as well. We have a pretty similar setup here. We both did tier 1 openers into a 6, and we both have the taunt dragon with walking for it. Damn, they're taking a lot less damage if we kill the fort, though. A pair of Kaboom bots. Help too much. Yeah, we're looking for taunts. I mean, there's the Kangors, but what is it worth right now? Nothing. Uh... Root sounds nice, but I don't really have spells. This is an acceptable beast. That's just good tempo, and like we said, most of the beasts aren't going to matter that much. I need a taunt, though. <laughs> I haven't got a single taunt yet. <laughs> like, you're more likely to be able to taunt beast things. But I'll just take any taunt right now. I can fill up the board already. I don't think it's worth taking the magnetic. It's all about getting the scaling started. Rick. Wow. This was awful. We got the fort, and then I got totally baited. Oh, finally a taunt. Okay, guess we'll get a next turn. But the crush is good for now. Ugh, my board looks pretty weak, huh? I thought I'd taunt two things that turn. I didn't even get one thing taunted. This is done next turn, at least. Menagerie plays into our build pretty well. That's playing beasts. I think he's trying to set up the Proggers. Probably not that strong right now, at least. Oh, he got a Goldrin. Never mind, he's big and strong. <laughs> he got double Makar Goldrin somehow from the last time. That was lucky that we hit that. Sniped his Goldrin. If it's enough. are quite large though. Damn. Oh, it's still above damage cap. Tier 5, we're pumping. Make it happen, Bob. We got two pairs too. I think we'd be able to fix something here. Okay, there's a good taunt for the walking fort. Yeah, ditch pup bot, I guess. On kaboom bot. So anyways. Really worth buying here. I'll buy the Naga for the uh tribe buff. to three taunts and the quest is done so the numbers are going up numbers are going up i didn't really finish any of those pairs though i, mean, I had that one dozy whelp that i carried the whole time and then all the other pairs seem to elude us this game i'm down to just this kaboom butt pair maybe uh we'll finish it still because they were easy minions to complete i hit it guys on a three round win streak Naga with Blood Goblet. I like the bomb going first. Got a really big Tide Mistress. The rest of his board's not so great, I guess. Oh, this guy's insane with Naga spells, huh? Because you can just buff this with temporary spells and then sell it. That worked. I haven't tried that yet, chat, but it sounds like that works right. 
the ball gives its stats to other things when it dies. So you just buff it with the spell stats and then sell it. Presumably it gives the spell stats away permanently. Another crush. I wanna buy that. Uh, I mean, I have three taunts now. Alright, I'm buying this crush. Bob believes we can make a golden crush here. And I got this guy again out. Alright, well, I think the plan is taunt to crush. I mean, it's obviously not really ideal, but that's the only way it scales. And it's my menagerie beast, so... I have two of them at this point. On to get. Alright, we got the four. We're trying to tavern up now. Boombot, if I could, maybe. That's a pillar. And with the jug looks pretty nice. I was planning to tavern up next turn, though. I don't know. I definitely want another set of scaling. I can easily get rid of the then even this, right? Like, I'm only four core minions, so... Feels like we could fit the brand in. What other battle cries am I really gonna get, though? I guess I get the taunt battle cries are pretty good. Hmm. Well, let's freeze this. It's either this, or we tavern up next turn. I haven't decided which. If we lose this round, we're probably taking the current stats. Yeah, it does look quite strong, too. He's been beating up a lot of people. We, we already talked about that, though, Kwong. So basically, we want a menagerie, and we want it to have taunt. And pretty much all of the beasts are going to be interchangeable. So there's still a decent chance that this gets its attack off, but it's mostly going to be a scaling taunt menagerie minion. The best minion was probably the Hydra, but it's the same thing. You don't really want to taunt Hydra. We're just going for a taunt menagerie build. He is also taunt, but he's a really nice dragon shield everything. Rushing us with that. Like, stats are pretty close there, but he just got the shield on everything. The one to beat right now. Yikes. It's funny how the dragons is so bad, but you get Nadina and it's actually got stats, and suddenly it's the best comp. The taunt's a nice way to give it stats there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Boombot, I believe we're still gonna finish that somehow. I believe we'll still finish it somehow. Alright, so are we taverning up or stay in this tier? I can even get this guy in the tavern up. Good. Crush is kind of nice, I guess, because he spawned something for our MacGyver, but... Pretty small difference now, we're not really full mix. Caribbean's newest cruise ship will be the largest in the world, ready by 2024, will cost two billion dollars a ship. We enhance the picture here. I've never been on one of these mega cruise ships, have you guys ever been on one of these? 
I feel like it'd be fun to be on a smaller one, but at this scale, it doesn't even feel like it'd be that interesting. Like, water slides and stuff. I mean, I guess that's about... That's the main deck level, right? And you have 10 stories on top of that. Like, multiple 10-story apartment complexes. Yeah, I'm sure it's kind of nice, but... There's just too many people at that point in a small space. Like, I, I like other people, but when there becomes a certain amount of other people in a small area, weird things start happening. And I just try not to ever be in those situations, right? I'd be fine on some normal smaller ship, but if there's 10,000 freaking people or whatever on that one boat, I guess it just doesn't feel right. Everybody's packed in with your sausages. Titanic vibes where they don't have enough lifeboats for everybody, you know, it's just weird things happen when there's too many people and a small amount of stuff. Remember what happened in an emergency? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure they have to build it up to code, right? But that just uh, say quite right with me. Alright, we got top four. Everybody died really fast. Feels like I'm not getting further than this, but see what we can do here. Gonna finish the uh, Kaboom Bot for me real fast. I would have real saw the crush. That's good. Free shield this turn. Wow. Another four. Also good. Keep the Kaboomba stuff. Too late for that. But it's kind of nice because they each stuff too. Looks like we're against Leapfroggers here. Or maybe he went for full Big Beast, actually. Like, we did that yesterday. It went quite well. Might be full Big Beast. That's what we're hoping for, because I have pretty good stats. But I'm not insane. You know, I don't have double into turn effects or anything. I just got, I got some nice forts and, like, a decent little taunt set up here. Pretty high-powered lobby. I had no extra money. I guess that's one of the things. Like, I had no tech plays, right? I had no extra money. I was just strapped for cash and getting passive scaling. Doesn't tell us because the uh, ice blocks out. Yeah, he's doing the same build I was yesterday. He got first place yesterday. It was really good. Uh, it does look like his numbers are too big now, huh? He's up to 60s and I'm at 40s. stats too much which is about 50% of the size of my minion so you know we needed we needed another like multiplier of scaling really right 20 stats when I only have 40 stats is about 50% larger that's quite a bit larger than my stuff had to be to actually win that round it was a green game at least that's why there's only one cruise ship that's registered in the U.S. They're all based out of other countries with low standards. Uh, well, yes, the Caribbean, I guess, is this one, right? The Royal Caribbean. But they're... They're probably going to do it at least to, like, some relevant safety standard. They're not going to just make a ship that people are going to die on. That would be terrible publicity and stuff. Even, even if they just found out the plans for the ship didn't include the right safety measures, people would blow it up but what's the point in being so congested when you're in the ocean right it's it's like i can understand if you were going on a spaceship like yeah you maybe got to pack people in really tight but if i'm going on the ocean 
the ocean, the whole point is it's like open, right? And you're gonna go somewhere open and then stand crammed together with other people. <laughs> this is not right. It's a, it's a, what's the point of even being on the ocean at this point? You're just on a boat. There could have been a city somewhere. You can look out and see the water, I guess. But there's... It doesn't feel like you're even getting the ocean. You're also probably so high up, like, never... No way you could ever touch the water or do anything. I wonder if they have some type of pool that... They probably have some, like, lower pool that lets you interact somehow, right? It wouldn't be completely off-limits. I'm not sure how that works. Merlock seems good this game. Gonna be a stat game other than Merlock, so let's be the Merlock. Go to the island tourist nation. Yeah, when you get off the boat at an island, you could, right? But I'm thinking when you're on the boat, it just feels like pointless to even be on a boat because you're not doing anything boating related. You're crammed together in a cityscape. Uh. Don't want to go around the river, yeah. Like this. Hey! I think I had some other pictures. Got some other, we got some other angles here. So, what, we got like the dining area, pool, pool, pool down here. People can pour their drinks into the pool at the bottom, you know. Garden in the center is a nice touch. That's definitely a nice touch. I wonder if it actually looks that good or that's the plan. That, that is a, a good look for the ship to have the garden in the middle. Where you can have some green space. Because otherwise it's just so... Yeah. So metal. Not, not necessarily metal, but uh, industrial, I guess. Went on Caribbean Cruise 1, so many islands in a short time, and the end we found that Aruba was the best and went there instead. So how many islands did you go to, roughly? Ten? I would honestly way prefer to go on an Arctic cruise. I think an Arctic cruise would be pretty fun. Because then you have, like... Okay, picture the difference in the Arctic cruise, right? Then you have, like, a reason to be huddled together on the ship over a, a nice get-off-the-boat, but... I think an Arctic cruise would be pretty cool. A lot uh, less people would probably go on it too that way, right? You wouldn't be stuck with the Florida old people on their retirement. You'd have some actual people that are interested in what's going on. Well, these have no synergy. That's pretty disappointing. My power level, it's terrible for this hero, but these are just, they have zero synergy. All garbage. I'm power leveling. Bob, I put my faith in you. I power level. Bob says let's step up our game. He believes. He's <sighs> a really bad hero for this, but could pay off. Alaskan cruise? Yeah, that sounds nice. So the Caribbean islands, which would be so touristy. Not sure where you would get off, though, right? Like, what, what destinations do you go to in the Arctic? Alaska to Greenland? There'd be no... need some hotels and stuff in between. Places to, to hang out and see the penguins. Need some infrastructure. And Battle Cry for lamps. I mean, we're gonna play Battle Cry a lot with Murlocs, right? So... Go Battle Cry with lamps. Uh, okay, we did actually get two Murlocs up front that are two or three. Funny thing is, I think it's not good to buy those. I think it's better to buy the demon. <laughs> Even though, this is, this is a funny pick here, right, chat? We have two tier three Murlocs, which is like, wow, that's great. We're the Murloc hero. They also kind of synergize with each other, I guess. Realistically, I'd play this first and then play this after. But in reality, we want to take Legion Overseer and consume, because then this is going to buff, and it's much better. 
It's good to get some minions in play. Still quite a bit better though. I save this? I guess. Two or three Murloc with a battle cry. Can't get much better than that. <laughs> We're playing Murloc Hero with battle cry quests, so it's just uh needs another thing to really synergize with it. Four minions. Your minions really pulled their weight. Got one roll, give me a Murloc, baby. Oh, the tads are so good. Holy shit, that's a great shot. The Tads are the best for us because they trigger this and they're just Murloc stuff. And we're going to get another Consume on the Legion Overseer next turn for the Battle Cry. This power level was definitely the play. We had such a terrible tier 2 shop. I'm glad we power leveled and got the better stuff. Gotta take a chance sometimes. People are saying in the comments the problem with these boats is that the docks and harbors are not designed for boats that big so that it takes multiple hours to unload the boat which kind of makes sense i guess the boat is so big it doesn't fit at the dock and so instead they have to park it in the water and small like an hour to two hours sounds pretty quick honestly <laughs> considering they'd have to use a lot of small boats and ferrying people back and forth. So there is such a thing as too big, and they've already started reaching it. That's the apparently a problem for current boats, and that boat's even bigger, right? So they'll definitely have that problem. Like it sucks probably if you were on the boat it wouldn't be that bad because you just wait your turn right it's like oh it's my turn to get off at 6 a.m or my turn to get off at 8 a.m whatever it wouldn't be that bad for the individual people but for the boating perspective unloading the boat with 